Most of the cells living on this planet are not plants, animals, or fungi, but rather microorganisms called bacteria and archaea. Together, they make up the prokaryotes. Prokaryotes come in lots of shapes and sizes. Spheres, rods, spirals, crescents, even stars, and are usually really, really small. A typical bacterium like this E. coli here is about 15 times smaller than a typical human cell. One defining feature of prokaryotes is that they lack the nuclei and membrane-bound organelles found in so-called higher organisms, called eukaryotes. Although this might seem primitive compared to organisms like plants and animals, prokaryotes were the first forms of life on Earth, and so have had billions more years to evolve and adapt than we humans have. And the evidence is literally everywhere. Prokaryotes are in the soil, in the air, deep in the sea, in our guts, on our skin. In fact, there are more bacterial cells living in and on your body than there are human cells. Some live in extremely acidic environments and some in extreme hot or extreme cold. There's 7.6 billion people on Earth and 5 million trillion trillion bacteria. Five with 30 zeros following it. And although they don't have nuclei, they can build sophisticated structures. Some have complex machines on their exteriors, such as long, whip-like flagella used for movement, or small protrusions called pili that they can use to exchange genetic information. And prokaryotes actually make up the overwhelming majority of diversity of life on Earth as well. For example, strains of bacteria in the human gut are less genetically related to each other than humans and lettuce. Not only are they extremely sophisticated, they also make life possible. The majority of oxygen in our atmosphere was first produced by prokaryotes. They're essential for plants to grow, for us to digest food. Without prokaryotes, we wouldn't exist.